I do feel like we make a difference to people's lives. Um, there's a lot of different reasons why. Uh, we're going into the client's house every day, sometimes two, three, four times a day. And you want to see the difference that you make in that person's life. Whether that's providing companionship, whether that's personal care, dressing, or even just meal prep or reminder of medication. All that is making a difference to the client. And you're there to encourage them and to make the difference to them. So if you're spending five days a week with a client, three, four times, you want to see yourself that you are making a difference in that person's life. I think it means, it means everything to a lot of people because it's a difference between the client remaining in their own home, they're living um, as independently as possible. You're just there to encourage them. So it's, you can see the difference in them, even in their personality, like their personal growth, their mental and physical health that a carer has gone in, they're more outgoing. So it does really make a positive difference with a carer being there. I've been working uh, as a carer for over seven and a half years uh, with Comfort Keepers. And I started as a carer, maybe it's over eight years now, I've been full-time carer for my mum. So that's how I really became a carer, was looking after my mum first. She, her condition improved a bit over a year and a half, so I was able to work part-time then for at least five years. And then when my mum sadly passed away, I became full-time immediately. So I'm working full-time as a carer now, two and a half years, which is great. I feel I have great support with the office. Uh, there's always a phone call away or an email and if I don't hear anything back within an hour they'd always I'd call again and someone would ring back. So I do feel like there's a lot of support in the office. I've always had great support anyways with the office. You got to love your job, be passionate about your job, be honest in your job and be willing to really build a relationship with your clients. So you can provide the best care to your client and also be respectful and be understanding of the client's needs because you will meet a lot of different personalities and you're going to need a lot of patience because you just need a lot of understanding and punctuality is a big thing because those clients if you're giving those a time and they're waiting for you they want you there at that time so i really do think that makes a good carer It does. It's, you're always looking when you're going to your job to make sure you're satisfied with someone, whether it's making them smile or if they're having a bad day. You know, for example, through COVID, I, I had a client and she was such an outgoing lady. She was very active. She was always doing something like we were, used to always go walking together. And when COVID came, she just switched off. She stayed in her home for a year. She didn't come, she wouldn't even come to the garden with me to walk. The fear just took over that she was going to get COVID. But I used to try and encourage her every day to come to the garden, let's go walk, tell her the benefits for it. But she wouldn't. But one sunny day, and it was nearly coming up to a year, this lady hadn't left her house. It was one sunny day, I was like, oh, I'm going to be working all day. I need to go outside, get a bit of fresh air. I was like, look, you get your chair, sit in the hall, I'll stand in the garden, get a bit of sunshine. And she came out and I came out and she just looked at me and she's like, I'll walk in the garden today. And I just smiled and I was like, okay. And we walked out and just to see her smile. And from then on, she continued on to go out into the garden and then she got back out into, as I said, society. So that gave me a sense of satisfaction. Just, I didn't push her, I was just encouraging her every day to go outside again. Because we all know COVID, COVID has been very tough on the elderly. They didn't want to go out. So that was, yeah, satisfaction for me. I do, yeah, because you're going into people's houses every day and you want to have a positive effect on the people. In terms of even their personal growth, their mental health, physically. And uh, I think it has shown overall, having the care of going into people's houses has improved their health, they're healthier overall and they remain more outgoing having the care of going in. Even family members can see that, having the care of going in. The person is just more outgoing and they're more inclined to do things for the carer 
rather than family members. So that's why the family members also see the positive effect of a carer coming in. Oh, definitely. <laughs> of course I am. I'm looking forward to it, like for many reasons, but one, to see all the office teams as well. Because I mean, we always just communicate through phone and email and we never get to see each other. So that will be nice. And just to have a night off, have a glass of wine and that's it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh gosh, I've actually thought of that and I'm like, I don't know what I'd mean. Obviously it's nice to be recognized and to see like, there's many carers that I've worked with and I'm thinking, oh, they deserve it, they should be here, whatever. All carers have done a great job, but to me it'd be just, it'd be nice. I don't know what else to say, it'd be nice to win it, yeah.